guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday the... I haven't got my watch on. <laughs> it's the 20th, I think. Um, my phone's over there as well, so it's Monday. Um, I didn't vlog anything over the weekend, or not even on Friday. Um, I did pick up the camera Saturday morning, and I filmed a really, really tiny little clip to say good morning, and then that was it. So <laughs> I'm not even going to put that up. It's really not worth it. Um, but we had a lovely day on Thursday going to Legoland and everything. It was really nice. Um, I just want to apologise if I keep going in and out of focus, as usual. Um, <clears throat> and then Saturday I went to the garage with Ian. Sunday, yesterday, we just had the most chilled day. It was so nice. Um, I was in my pyjamas till about, about 4 o'clock <laughs> until I needed to... Um, get in the loft I think was it or well, just before that I needed to get in the loft um, to put the speakers and everything and the CDs and everything that was just hanging around everywhere up there so it's a lot more tidier tidier in here now I did some housework yesterday um, which was so nice to be able to actually move around without having to do the Krypton Factor <laughs> or the Crystal Maze. Um, it was just nice. Um, I have also finished the 5D diamond painting of Toy Story. That is over there. Um, it is completed. It's really nice. I've also started another pattern from the uh, Doris Chan book, which is this one. I'll just show you the... Um, <coughs> it's the Ra Bundie. <laughs> um, so it is this one with all the tassels and everything or the lace at the bottom I don't know whether I'm going to put it at the bottom of the sleeves just because uh, I know a few people that have said or especially Jan she gets hooked up on every door and everything uh, so I might just do the sleeves normal but we will see I'm going to try and do the the bottom of the actual jumper first um, I'm using a DK yarn and by the looks of it um, the picture seems a lot more open um, also with this book just a quick uh, to let you know it's the Doris Chan everyday crochet book uh, sizes go up to they they are quite generous uh, so you're looking at a, a 33 bust to a 54 bust um, some pieces do go up to a 60 I believe yes some pieces do go up to a 60 like that little bolero that I made the other day um, or finished the other day that goes up to a 60 inch um, and it is very sort of size inclusive so I'm using a DK yarn with a 5 mil hook and I've gone up to a 54 inch where the bolero I made the 50 inch uh, so I've gone up a couple of inches <coughs> and I've got this much so far. Um, it is a, obviously a v-neck so that's why that's like that. As you can see my um, stitches, I think I should have maybe used a 6 mil hook. Um, my stitches really are quite compact um, but I'm hoping that once this is sort of washed it will loosen up a little bit. Um, Jan did say to me, stop making things so big. Uh, the reason I've done the biggest size is obviously because I'm using a 4 mil hook and, um, no, a DK yarn, sorry, and a 5 mil hook. I think it calls for a 5 mil hook. A 5.5 mil hook. Um, so that's why I've gone up a size. Um, no, that's why I've gone down a size. No, up a, that's why I've gone up a actual size, not a hook size. Uh, so, yeah, that's that. It's looking a little bit funky. It's just where the seams are. Um, but I am very close to joining for the, um, under, the, the 
this part here and the underarm so that looks like it should be okay and obviously you'll have to, I'll have to add some stitches there um I don't mind if this comes up a little bit too big because obviously it's a jumper it's going to be an over jumper so it's going to be over things um mainly my leggings and that so I don't want it too tight anyway um so I'm really pleased with this and I will carry on with it the yarn that I'm using is uh, the yarn that Kim gifted me so this is the junior shades double knit uh, ideal for baby and junior wear <laughs> fair, it's the Faircroft yarn um, but I thought red would be nice with leggings and things I have got some other red jumpers that I wear in the winter um, so yeah I thought that would look nice in that um, there's going to be a little bit of a change in the way that I do videos um number one is that obviously over the weekend I didn't vlog anything because uh I wasn't really doing anything and it would have just been really boring me coming on good morning we're going to the garage blah 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 home oh we've been to the garage <laughs> um because I didn't film anything while I was there obviously um so I will film I will vlog whether that will be every single day, I do not know. Uh, but I will try and put a couple of videos up a week. Um, knowing me, through the, throughout the week, I really need a haircut. It's like straw. But anyway, um, <clears throat> throughout the week, I will probably pick up the camera anyway. Um, the weekends, I do find it difficult to vlog if we're not really doing anything. Or I'm just going to the garage with Ian. Um and bits and pieces I haven't actually done a podcast for Friday uh, or last Friday I didn't do a podcast um, I am hoping to keep those quite regular I'm going to do one uh, this Friday uh, one I haven't really had much progress on anything um, and two I went to um, well I went out on Friday but I was quite ill Friday morning I had a banging headache um when we got home from legoland i was I, I explained in that video that i started to get headache on the way home but then when i woke, woke up on friday my head was pounding again um i am sure i drank my body weight in water <laughs> um just because i wanted to get as, as much fluid in me as i could um because i didn't know if i was dehydrated or anything so i did that um, so yeah, the, there will be a little bit of a change, um, it's not going to be a daily, every single day vlog, um, I've been vlogging since March every, well, I've missed a couple of days, not many, but I've been daily vlogging since March, uh, since when we went into lockdown, and yeah, it, <laughs> that is a little bit crazy, um, so I am going to keep doing my podcasts, um, if not every week, every fortnight. Uh, but today I have decided to try and dye some yarn. Um, I've got some yarn soaking in a pot in the kitchen. I need to just put away a few bits and pieces and then I can um, get dyeing the yarn. Uh, it's just soaking in the water at the moment, um, in the warm water. Also over the weekend, and especially yesterday, um, I got my um, spinning kit out and I have been practicing doing some spinning. Um, I'm no expert at this at all. I've been watching loads and loads of videos, especially while I have been spinning, um, just to see how different people do it and... Um, to see if I can see what I prefer see a lot of people do it differently um and I just wanted to see if I preferred a certain way and a, a certain way suited me better um so this is what I've got so far I've decided to do two different colors uh mix it up a little bit I've got big bits I've got little bits and I've got like teeny weeny weeny little bits here um so but I'm really pleased with it. Let me just pull a little bit out. I'm really pleased with it. Um, so as you can see, some bits are quite good with the, the tension and that. And then you get some bits like that that are a bit thicker. <laughs> um, but I'm really pleased with it. And I'm I was really enjoying it. Um, it takes 
a lot longer than I ever thought that spinning would do. I don't know why. Um, because obviously, I'll just wrap that around a few times. Obviously, spinning does take a long time, and um, I don't know whether spinning on a wheel is any quicker. I, I would assume so. Um, but they, they, a lot of the videos say, oh, they call it a drop spindle because you drop it a lot. I haven't dropped it once, touch wood. Um, but I do just sit here and spin it like, well, I can't hold it up that heart, that arm. But I hold the thing, spin it, park it in between my legs, and then um, drag the twist up. It's called the park, it's called the twist and park, or something, spin and park. Um dragon park something like that uh method so instead of just dropping it and then pulling it up as you go and letting it hit the floor you um spin it park it and then you get the spin out of the the fiber so once it stops spinning you spin it again and carry on um I, i'm really enjoying it i've um decided to to do um this color as well um so I've got two colours on here. I've also got this in the bag, which is a bright, bright pink, which is really, really nice. But I don't know whether it actually goes with this. Um, the reason that I had done this is because um, I wanted to two-ply the this sort of bit. But what I wanted to do was make sure that I had um, two different colours so I could see it like a little bit better while I was um, two-plying it. Uh, I will probably... I don't know what I would make out of this. I really don't know. Uh, but it's just a little bit of fun and a little bit of something different when you don't want to knit or crochet. Um, I'm glad that the 5D painting is done now because that obviously um, spares up more of my time because I'm not doing that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm really pleased with this. I've got this much done. I don't know how much a spindle can hold I don't know <laughs> um, but yeah I'm gonna carry on with this until I feel like the spindles a bit too much full up um, and then try applying it so yes that is my spinning um, little experience but I'm gonna take you along with me today I know I've rambled on for quite a while already but I'm gonna take you along today and uh, show you my hand dyed yarn what I'm going to try and do is um I'm going to try and do not a rainbow yarn but a, um a different a, I'm going to put it in the pot put a couple of different colors in let that set in but then at the same time possibly sprinkle some speckles on the top I don't know <laughs> I've never dyed yarn before it's all experimental and I'm sure that if it looks horrible I can over dye it and then it might even it might look even better who knows um, I'm not gonna write anything down yet I don't think um, I don't know because I want I want the yarn at the moment for me so it's not something that I'm gonna sell on um, I want it just to be sort of experimental see what I can make and bits and pieces so yeah first of all I need to clean the kitchen I have just put the, put the yarn into soak so I need to clean up the kitchen and clear my side and things just so that it don't get everywhere um, but yeah I'm quite excited so let's get some dyeing done so this is my soaking yarn it's been soaking for uh, about half hour so um, I've just put a bit of pink string on there or cotton uh, just so I can easily sort of pick it back up again like this uh, and I know where to I put two bits on um, I've just laid out all of the dye um, I've just put some cling film on the side I've laid out all the materials and things. I've moved my bits from off the back here. Uh, they're just literally behind me. And these are all the dies. Now I'm going to work out what I want and how I want it. I don't really know yet, uh, but we shall see. Um, Ian's also put up this shelf that I got from Ikea a little while ago. And I did have this 
pot. So I'm going to call it the dye pot because it's not going to be used for anything else. I did put this dye pot up there. Before I started, I made sure that everything actually fitted in that pot. So uh, for storage, everything does fit in that pot. So I can just put it up there, say to Ian, don't use it to cook. And not that he cooks very much anyway. <laughs> uh, but um, it's for dyeing yarn and that's that. Um, I have got gloves here. I'm going to um, empty that pot and then put some fresh water in and some of the vinegar. I have just got this um, distilled vinegar. I don't know whether it's going to work or not. I have got white vinegar, the Snowdrops cleaning vinegar, and I don't know whether that's going to work either. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up two colours in my pot um, see how that comes out and then I might mix a third uh, just to I don't know we're just gonna roll with it and let's see what happens okay so I'm gonna add that will do a little bit more for luck to the dry pot. Then I'm going to add my yarn, which is dripping everywhere. Okay, so let's put that. I'm just sort of gonna. I haven't got gloves on yet either, have I? I will get gloves. Right, so this spoon I am going to use for dyeing only. So I'm just gonna pat that down like that. Okay, let's get some gloves on. These are like surgical gloves, <laughs> like proper surgical gloves. Um, oh, this one's a bit easier to get on. <laughs> right, okay, so I'm reading the instructions as we are going. So it says, step one was to fill your sink with warm water and submerge your hank. I've done that. Uh, step two, work out which dyes you want to use and make them up in individual jars. Use cold water to make a paste, then warm water to, to dissolve it. Uh, step three is add the vinegar, stir well. I didn't stir it. Never mind. <laughs> um, put the yarn in. Step four. Um, oh, and then, no, step three, then, so you've put the yarn in, then put the, the dye in. Um, and then slowly raise the temperature two degrees per minute until the yarn is just reach reaches boiling make sure it isn't a rolling boil okay right so I haven't got that on yet right so the colors that I am thinking is obviously pink um, so I've got magenta I might have a little bit of that um, so I've got two reds and two blues, and I think two greens. Um, oh, that's a grey. Um, brown. What about this turquoise colour? Pink and turquoise, and maybe a little bit of purple. Let's go with that, shall we? Right. So I've just I'm, I'm just sort of doing this. <laughs> um, 100 mil, let's say. 100ml, does it say on there how much liquid? No, just cold water to make a paste. So let's make a paste. Magenta, I don't know whether this is gonna have a thing on it. Nope. Okay, so we just want, I don't know if you can see me, but I'm literally picking up a tiny weeny bit so even s smaller than that and put it in there stir that around oh that's quite nice maybe a little bit more because if we are going to add I don't think we need to make a paste so let's add a little bit more And they say the best, well not they say, but 
I've heard that the best way to test it is with some kitchen towel. And that will give you an idea. on what colour it will come out. Oh, I don't know if you can see me. Just about. <laughs> that's very nice. So let's put that over there. So that's a nice colour. Okay, so that's that one. Let's do, let's put the lid back on that properly. Let's do the turquoise. ready for this. So I'm getting a little bit more of the turquoise, putting that in. Oh that's very nice. Let's try with a bit of kitchen towel. Okay. Can't rip it. Now I've got my gloves on. My gloves. Yep yeah, that's a nice colour. So we'll have that. Now I don't know whether this is going to be enough to dye the whole skein. Um, so let's just let's just um, put this on number three, so it's well, getting ready to warm up. And I'm just going to tip this in. So wish me luck. Slowly, slowly. Oh, I think this is going to be plenty. Do you know what I might do? Is alternate. I might have to get some more beakers. Oh, this is looking nice. I think there might be a bit too much water in here, but... It, I might speckle with the purple, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to speckle with the purple. So this is what we have so far. Um, I've put the turquoise and the magenta in and it's given us this purpley colour where the two colours have mixed. Um, it's a little bit darker than showing, um, it's much darker than that but hopefully once it's come out, um, is that a, that's a better uh, representation, no, <laughs> that's a better colourway <laughs> um, that's showing on the screen uh, but um, as you can see, I still have a little bit of the, the blue in the water because of the uh, thermometer. Um, I've only put my cooker on number three and it does say to have it, let me just turn you around. It does say to have it on um, a boil. Uh, I haven't, it, every now and again a bubble is coming up so I'm assuming that that is what they mean because um, they, in the instructions it says that you don't want a proper rolling boil because it will felt your yarn and it will disturb where you've put the colours. Um, so yeah, this has come up a lot more purpley and bluey than I thought it would but that's all fine with me. Um, the actual yarn in the thing looks like this sort of colour here uh, where it's purple. Um, but I've got another four skeins that I can um, play around with at some point. I probably won't do it today because I need to wait for this to cool down and everything. So um, I'm going to do wait for this to finish doing what it's doing. Wait for it to cool and then I will show you the end result once it's all done. So it's been many hours later. I'm all hot and sweaty. Um, it is now half past eight in the evening. Um, I boiled this for, I think it was about an hour in the end. Um, I just had it on number three on my hob and this is the final result. Um, it's definitely not as pink. Uh, this is more purpley, a lot more darker than what that is showing. Um, but now I'm going to rinse it as the colour has all gone from the water 
going to rinse it, it's cooled down obviously and uh, I will show you what it looks like once it's all finished. So it's the next day and the yarn is almost dry, it's a little bit damp on the end so after I've shown you I am going to unravel it and um, hang it up again. But this is the finished colourway. Um, there's no pink in it at all, uh, it's more purpley and blues um, but it is so awesome. Now there is like sort of a pinky purple there um, but it is so pretty. Um, I'm so pleased with it. I, I am a little bit gutted there's not as much pink in it as I thought there would be. Let me just unravel it so you can see it like this. <coughs> Excuse me, I haven't had my first coffee yet, so um, yeah, so there's a lot of, there's some turquoise in it there, which, oh my god, it's beautiful, I love turquoise, um, and then into some more purples, and then some more turquoise, and other blues, and I just love the way that it's all mixed together, um, I think next time I'm going to try and uh, use the pipettes to put the colour in. I completely forgot about that and I just poured it from the jug. Um, and I think maybe the pip pipettes would um, control the colourways a little bit more. Or control where it goes because you're only putting a tiny little bit in at a time. Uh, possibly, I don't know. But I'm going to hang this back up. I'm just hanging it on my um, window. Pushing my window right out. Just hanging it on the hanging it on the <laughs> handle it was hung in the bathroom all night but this bit here is still a little bit damp uh, but I'm I, I'm sure that this will be dry in a couple of hours as it's quite warm today so yeah that is the vlog for today thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed watching me uh, dye some yarn um, it's not perfect but it's perfect for me and it's come out wonderful I think it is beautiful and I think in anything this would be really nice um so yeah thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one bye